everyone, this is Stephen Fung from, from FutureLooks.com. We're here with Tom Dixon, the uh, big blender from Blendtec. And I have three questions for him, so I'm going to ask him the first one. So, why blenders? Why blenders? Yeah. They're fun, they're fast, and they make a big mess. <laughs> they do a lot of really goofy things that are interesting to people. And what made you decide to blend crazy stuff? Well, having a blender which is very fast and noisy, and knowing that people are interested in blenders because they use them every day, we thought, okay, what can we put in a blender? Since we're already doing every, every other thing we can with two-by-twos and trying to break them, let's do some strange things like iPhones and iPods and get some interest. And sure enough, now we've got 175 million views on the internet blending crazy things. There's 83 different videos up now. Now, because you can only blend certain things, what kind of criteria do you take into consideration when you select these crazy things to blend? Well, number one, it has to fit in a jar. And we have a three-quart jar, so we can get a lot of stuff in it. And then, is it interesting to people? I mean, certainly, when a 3G first comes out, people are interested in it. And people are out doing these tests, they're dropping them, seeing if they still work. We have the ultimate test for anything, any little electronic gadget. So whatever's popular, we like to blend it. And even in the case of my new GTR, my new Nissan GTR, you know, I love it. I go out on the track and decide we take the fastest blender in the world for a ride in the fastest car. So we've had a great time with even, a, even something as big as a GTR. And what I do there is I blend a Corvette because it's so powerful. I blend a Porsche because it's so agile and it has such great braking. And I blend a Ferrari because it's so sexy and slick. But I say we can blend all these things into the Nissan GTR. Thank you so much, Tom. You're welcome.